you please call the roll. Mr. Patel. Mr. Lavera. Here. Mr. Schichtel. Here. Mr. Pancoke. Mr. Begg. Yes. Ms. Bari. Yes. Ms. Applegate. Here. Councilwoman Jeevers. Here. Mayor Maratai. Vice, Vice Chairman Hoberman. Here. Chairman Clark. Here. This advised notice of time, date, location, extent, known agenda of the subject meeting was prominently posted in public place reserved for such or similar announcements on October 23rd, 2023. Transmitted to the Times, the Princeton Pack in West Windsor and Plainsboro News on October 23, 2023, and filed the township clerk on October 23, 2023. Okay. Um, before I ask for public comments, I just want to remind uh, everybody that if you have any typos or corrections to the minutes, just please uh, submit them either through an email or send them to Cindy um, after. Um, corrections, if you want to change the verbiage again. Verbiage is something different. Okay. Yes, we can, let's debate. I have some actually verbiage that I'd like to include. Thank you. Um, I'll open it up to the public to step up to the mic and uh, give your name and number, uh, name and address, and um, on any item that's not on the agenda or pending. Okay, hearing none, seeing none. Let's look at the minutes from October 4th. Yeah, Sue, you had some things that you needed to- Right, page five. Um, I guess it's the fourth paragraph, the second sentence, her concerns were the layout with only one entrance to the property and not enough room to accommodate fire trucks. I would prefer that red and no driveway for access. No driveway access to the northernmost portion of the building for emergency vehicles. Okay. Anybody else? Go ahead, Alan. I just have one correction on page five. Under the roll call, Pankov was not here for the. He left at 10. She, uh, she has that in um, on the top of page five. It says Mr. Pankov left the meeting 10 p.m. But then below under roll call, it says I is Patel Shechtel. Oh, Pankov. I have it twice. Okay, I'll review it from the I. I did have it as absent. Yeah, you have it absent, and he. Oh, okay, good, ca you, good catch. Thank okay. you. I, I sent it my yeah, typo yeah. by emails. Yep. Okay. Anything Thank else? No. Okay, I had a couple a couple items. Uh, top of page five. I'd like a little more uh, detail regarding Miss Anderson. Said she was concerned she did not receive notification. I think we looked at how what the distance was from her house, right? Yeah. And and she was beyond the two hundred feet, right? Beyond the two hundred feet. So I'd like to get that in the minutes, please. You, and then the only other thing that I had, um, you can put it on page, I guess on page four, is it? Yeah, on bottom of page four. This is something I think that needs to be included. At the very end of the application, when we were debating, I mentioned that um, there might not be enough bike storage for all the 180 units, and I recommended that they designate, and Jerry made it a condition, they designate bicycle storage space and an area where it would be built if they needed to expand and they could bank it so that they wouldn't have to come before the planning board to then ask for it. And they, everybody nodded in agreement. The applicant said, great, and Jerry put it down as a condition. I know I said a lot, but if you can just kind of summarize something that basically says they're going to bank there extra bike storage. I didn't see it. If I... I, I thought I put it. Okay. Okay, I will add that. Okay. Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the October 4th, 2023 minutes with the amendments uh, suggested. So moved. Second. Moved by Linda, second by Alan. Um, 
All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. And absent. Okay. One. Manis is an uh, abstained. Rob is an abstained. Okay. I abstain as well. I was okay. absent. Joy is, is abstains. Joyka. Okay. Um, minutes are approved. Thank you. Okay. Moving right along here. Next up, application PB19-08 as amended. The towns at West Windsor, formerly known as Heritage Village, amended final site plan and subdivision, 2044 Old Trenton Road, block 28, lots 15.02, 20.01, property zone in the R-5D district, MLUL is 11.123. Is the applicant here and represented? Yes. Good evening, Shirley and Roberts for the applicant, the uh, K of Nanians, the towns at West Windsor LLC. Okay, thank you. Approval for publication and service are in order, and the board has jurisdiction. Okay, you you have a bunch of witnesses that you're going to um, have uh, testify. Yes, uh, we think it's a fairly simple application. I only have two witnesses tonight, uh, our engineer, our traffic engineer, and our civil engineer. Okay. Uh, we think the presentation will be fairly brief, and of course, we'll be... We're, we're looking for brief here. Yes. Um, but we'd like to swear both of your um, witnesses in, please. If you could both raise your right hands. Do you swear or affirm your testimony about... The so, Swan or Affirm, could you please state your full name and spell your last name? Why don't we start with you? Sure. Last Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, with respect to um, service and uh, proof of publication, I did email the planning department copies of everything, but I did want to get um, the originals, their file. Thank you. Okay, again, my name is Charlene Roberts, um, representing the applicant tonight. This is an application for amended final major subdivision and final major site plan for our community called the Towns at West uh, Windsor. I'm sure the board is aware of where it's located, Princeton Heights Town Road. Um, there, those are both county roads. Uh, just quick uh, background, the subdivision approvals, subdivision and site plan approvals granted by this was back in October of 2020, and the project construction is underway. The approved plan currently show a one-way eastbound internal access drive from our community into the adjacent Windsor Point uh, project. I believe that's not underway yet. Um, in East Windsor. And that project uh, had requirements both by both the County of Mercer and uh, the Township of East uh, Windsor to have that one way turned into a two way cross or reciprocal um, connector road between the two projects. And um, we, as an accommodation to our neighbor, uh, agreed to come back to you uh, in order to try to accommodate that on their, for their project and ask for our one-way um, access uh, eastbound to be uh, revised to a two-way to allow for westbound um, movement from West Windsor in, in through our roadway system and out uh, to Princeton Heights Town Road. Uh, I, uh, there are... Um, I believe we provided the, uh, the board with copies of both the county and the East Windsor uh, approvals, the conditional approvals that require that for the Windsor Point project. In addition, uh, Mercer County Planning Board sent this board just uh, this past week a letter explaining the reason for its condition uh, in connection with the Windsor Point project. Um, and uh, so again, we're just doing this really as an accommodation. It's not needed for a project. Uh, we're just trying to accommodate both the county and our neighbor to um, uh, support the county's master plan with respect to uh, good circulation uh, for, uh, for traveling um, in this county. Uh, 
Uh, we have uh, received, we had a TRC meeting on September 21st, and we have had, we have a, a number of review letters. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that um, the letters had only a few comments and that we've worked through them and we've been able to satisfy all the comments. And I, it's my understanding that there are no longer any concerns or issues raised by any of the board professionals or anybody else from the township, such as um, the township landscape ar architect, engineer, or um, the fire chief, Mr. Lynch. Uh, so now, um, again, it's a pretty simple application. So I would like to um, put on our first witness, which is Michelle Brehoff, our traffic engineer. Jerry, was your proper notification or is it needed? Yeah, I, I indicated earlier proof of publication and service in order and the board has jurisdiction. Good evening. Yeah, if you could just state your name again and your um and your credentials. Sure. Uh, Michelle Breihoff. I am a principal at Collier's Engineering and Design. I am the head of the traffic planning group for the state of New Jersey. Um, I am a licensed professional engineer since 2014, a degree in civil and environmental engineering from Northeastern University. Um, I've locally appeared. I don't believe I've been before West Windsor, but I've been before East Windsor, Robbinsville, Ewing, uh, um, so before we talk about this application, could you East Windsor, um, but desirable to the point where that was eventually approved, um, as a cross access, utilize the traffic signal that was being constructed by Windsor point, um, which would facilitate a safer ingress and egress, uh, through the signal, um, through again, <laughs> Uh, working with East Windsor and the county, it was then contemplated that maybe this should be a two-way access. Uh, so the purpose again tonight is to to come back and make that modification so we could approve hopefully that two-way uh, cross access between the projects. Um, as far as my part, oh, okay. <laughs> you issued a, a letter report in connection yes. with this application. Yep. Can you so, summarize it? Yep. So I um I issued a letter to this board to this uh town about the cross the cross access the two way cross access, um and basically the the purpose of this cross access is again just to provide that uh, better flow of traffic, better circulation. However you know, the predominant usage of this cross access, it would be for the towns at West Windsor development to come to Windsor Point and utilize that signal to facilitate their left turns out um, and just have that, that controlled access point. So that is still the predominant point of the cross access. Um, as far as going the other way, so if you're picturing the East Windsor, Windsor Point development going to the the towns at West Windsor, you know what we are contemplating and what we are thinking that it's probably not going to be used a tremendous amount. Um, there's no great reason for a vehicle who wants to end up on Princeton Heights Town Road to to circumvent through the the her the towns at West Windsor development all the way out to Princeton Heights Town Road and then make that left when they can just go to the access on Old Trenton Road, go to the light at Prince Knights on Road, and then you know be in the same route as they would have been otherwise. Um, so if I had to quantify it, I would say probably less than five peak hour trips may choose to do that. Um, you know, I know that the county in their original approval for the towns at West Windsor for this development um, did say that left turns out of the access on Princeton Heights Town Road would be permitted. However, you know, there would be a condition in which they would monitor that for safety and and uh, efficiency. So Michelle, yes. the, um the the intersection of Old Trenton Road and the Princeton Heights Town Road uh going toward as well as dedicated light, left uh, turn light at that intersection. I'm just trying to envision Yeah, so the intersection of Old Trenton Road with Princeton Heights Town Road is a signalized intersection with a left turn lane. The Princeton Heights Town Road but um, the reason I'm asking is a curve. If you are going up east side, eastbound on 571, the slight curve over there. I know two people I know they have a severe people are making right turn or left turn and car from coming from the curve side, they hit them. Make a left turn, it's a dangerous. 
for, for, I'm sorry, for the towns at West Windsor development. Yes. yes and I, I, I understand your the county allowed the left-hand turns out on 571. That's, that's not part of the application here for this evening. The county may allow left-hand turn lanes out of this development on 571 heading westbound. Let me swing in, if you could raise your right hand. You swear or affirm the testimony you've given and any future testimony given will be truth? Because th that was the way things were and reviewed when it was just... Um, uh, the, the towns or the heritage mm -hmm. application that was approved. Now you're adding in, um, Sam, how many units from um, the East Windsor development? There's 189 in the East Windsor development. Again, looking at the traffic study that was prepared for that, um, I would anticipate the number for traffic. And that, this is probably even a high estimate um, to be somewhere less than five peak hour trips mm -hmm. that would choose to to do that right now, um, like I said, they would opt most likely to use the signal at the driveway and then the signal at right. Old Trenton. I mean, that's what we would expect. When I looked at the, the memo though, on a lot of this, um, we just for the record, um, see Aurora Associates uh, memo from James Kopenhauer, uh, dated September 5th, peak hours, not heavy in volumes. Okay, but now we're adding, a second development into the you know that could could feed into mm -hmm. this um of 189 units so is i guess you're saying there was no gap study um to to look at the increased volume from, from a second development that could could use our road it's very dangerous no and again i i understand for this two-way cross access and well, they did, but there there wasn't any like gap study or I didn't. There was see, not a gap. Study. I didn't see any, any traffic studies like updated or anything. Not that I think it would take very long to do. Then no, to it's have it's that option it's of it's doing it's that. It's I mean, that's that's not, not for bad. for me to eligible impact um, for the driveway at Route at uh, 571. Um, and the county's approval for our project dated it's from October of 2021. And I think um, Michelle yep. did mention that paragraph one, they said they would monitor it and they would reevaluate depending on you know what happens in the future now with respect to parking. And they, they just sent a letter in supporting um, the request for NAS. So perhaps it's that they're not aware of some of the experiences. Uh, that so you're waiting for another fatality or the point. I mean, I'm just saying my, my concern right now, more traffic will be coming and- fine. So again, that the, the application is with respect to just making it a uh, a cross easement. Um, your the issue that you raised, which is significant, is separate and apart um, from what we're proposing to do now. Um, which is well, you have more traffic will be adding now. You have more traffic now. Can't say no or or uh, what? But do you we, think if you don't people allow from access, the East Windsor development yeah. are going to cross over Trenton Road, go into the development, so, and make a left on Five Seventy One? That's what we expect. I but, don't but, expect that. Well, no, we expect them to go out onto Old Trenton Road at the, the new yeah. signal light, and we expect that. But you know, the traffic report here says a certain amount of people, which was uh, thirty-seven uh, and thirty-nine. That's and that's I, for heritage. That's for the. The that, plan that for the, yeah. the town's the heritage yeah. only, but when you add the uh, the East Windsor development onto that, the numbers the numbers will go up. Yeah, but, do, uh, do we want a higher volume of people being able to make this is that but that's to a, five seven why is there no this isn't the light because you're you're going to go out to this yeah you know, there's a signalized intersection which is great uh, five seventy one and then they can make a right but they can also make a left even in rush hour I don't. You know, number one, I don't see any problem with that goes across Old Trenton Road, and we need that because it, that makes it safer, so that anybody in right. this development in, in in West Windsor can go out and make a left but very easily. It is a shorter way. If you're making left on a fast twenty one, there's a shorter way. You avoid two signals because one signal right at the intersection of five. But you're, you're, I don't know. Signal, it yeah. may be shorter in distance. It may not be uh, quicker because I mean, you're navigating through you're not getting the roads in the development yeah. to get to, and then yeah. you're going to be sitting there waiting for the fifty mile an hour cars to slow down enough for you right. to have a gap. 
but so you better have gone to the line. Another yeah. discouragement I see is along along road B, there are speed bumps. Speed bumps yeah. Um, and like uh, multiple speed bumps, and so that would right. yeah. That's another exactly. discouragement to the driver to want to try that. Quote, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd go to the over to five seven. Yeah. I'd go to the light, exactly. the left turn, wait for the left turn, and, green arrow, and go. Any logical person would do that. That's what I would well, do. But our issue is that cross access. Our issue is not five seven. But the right. cross this exactly, issue to and the cross access, I think, is 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 needed. So if you have ways. that cross access and don't make a right hand turn, nobody from that development is going to turn that way. They're going to turn left. I'm not following what you're saying. If if the towns people or the um, East Windsor development can come through that access into our development and we stop them from turning right. They'll have to go left and come out the exit that yeah, the okay. towns already has. It's but, not safe. So you're going you're gonna to stop people that are in the town's development from making that turn too, right? Yeah. No, you're going to stop the ones coming from East Windsor. No, but if the development in West Windsor and I left through the traffic light and I want to come back and I wanted to go yes. through. The only, the only problem I have on that segment of a road is that there's no sidewalk Sidewalks. connection. Yeah, I think it's important because you'll have a lot of, you know, you'll, you may have young people in there. Yeah, uh, Linda. Like a map, so visual sometimes helps a lot. Right. Uh, Linda, this is Quasi, uh, yeah. the traffic consultant. You got ways to go. Uh, sword and okay. get a square ball. In. Yeah. Um, and David, why don't you raise your hand and Prince and... also. You swear or affirm the testimony about to give you the truth. Yes, I do. So swear I do. Or affirm. Thank you. Uh, I just have a few words for this, as since I'm the traffic consultant here. The numbers that you were referring to, the 37 and 9, it did not include the East Went East development, but right. I did receive the letter that they prepared based on the OD study, the origin destination. It looks like nobody will make that turn, right turn, go through the neighborhood and make another left. So that number is very negligible. That's what they were claiming, like less than five. Yeah, but I, but what I can suggest is when if the do board decides to approve, make this as a condition. There are four conditions that the letter was issued from the Mercer County, October 4, 2021. That should be a part of the approval or if if they those four conditions has to be. have you have you seen the uh, i'm sorry can you just which conditions uh the four conditions came from the mercer county october 4 2021 letter birthday but just yeah, because that's what they're saying it's a long-term conditions okay subject to that yeah. letter yeah we're right. bound by that right so okay so for example referring to paragraph one again if right. the county because they did have some turn restrictions there right. for example you cannot make it a, a left, in. left in. out no. no you can you can you can not make a left in but you can make a left out if that left out would be monitored Correct. for safety and and Exactly. For a few periods to see if there's a crash or anything, then we're going to close it if if it's otherwise. So we're already subject to that one. Every right. first, no need Correct. To and they're also restricted in number three, another left out instead of making, waiting for the gap, they would come to the signal and make a left there. Yeah. Um, yep. So that letter should be a part of the... Yeah, and, and that's the yeah. letter dated December 18, 2019? Is that... The no, letter? October 4, 2021, Mercer right. County. New one. Okay. October okay. 4, October 4, 2021. Yeah, that's original yeah. approval. It came from, it came from, yeah. So what about the sidewalk? Uh, yeah, so if um if you, there's no more only one we have is December 18th, 2000. I have a letter I can forward it to Sam. And I have it, I have an October 23rd, um, no, no, this is the most recent one, October 4, 2021. 2019 letter also has four conditions. Is it the same conditions repeated on 2021? Yes, okay, yeah, those I'm, I'm talking about those four conditions that's that has to be a part of the approval process as a condition, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It should be in your package. We don't have that letter. I don't have that. What is that? The 23 letter? 
the most recent yeah. one was emailed to us. Yeah. 23rd, 2023 is the only letter that's in the packet because the new letter that came in, what Quasi is talking about is the letter that the can. If anybody needs the recent October 2020, October 23rd, 2023, I have a copy here, but you all should have had that. Oh, that we had. I have yeah. the 2019 letter. Where did I get this from? Correct. I don't have the letter with, with the package. What is mentioning? I don't have no, it. Yeah. Well, I, I can send it to Sam. We don't have that letter because it was issued to East Windsor. The original application. Because the most recent letter that Mercer County issued does not have those four conditions this letter has the four conditions that has to be a part that's what i'm saying what the yeah right without the conditions they just they just didn't reiterate the four conditions from previous memos that's right. all right that's correct but yeah we're not um, trying to change any of those conditions okay uh, there's, there's and, Okay, so so the, you're you're okay with the four conditions that were previously um, um, included. Okay. Uh, you know, this is an interesting application. Right now. We're just using the county or whatever Understood. wants to comport with their master plan for certain purposes only. So. Uh, and so they'll, they'll actually have people out there. I think they will monitor the crashes. That's that's typically because monitoring just if there's crashes. Correct. Any other questions for the traffic engineer? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Where would you like these slides? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's that's fine. Right there is good, so the audience can see it and we can see it. Can you turn it a little bit though, so that all of us can see it? Okay, sheet ten. Mr. Collin, would you please um, tell the board um, your additional oh. unlicensed yeah. background? Sure. Uh, good evening. My name, as I stated, is uh, Zechariah Cullen. We're civil engineering from the College of New Jersey. From 2013 and the township of Monroe. Uh, can you just give the board uh, just describe generally what are the changes that were made to this plans to the economy and this, this cross access? Sure. Um, I'll try not to belabor the in width. Uh, it has now been revised to be 24. The cartway has been revised. Other changes are um, coincidental to that change of widening the roadway. So, um, there's a retaining wall here uh, that's, that remains. Um, it was previously existed, just shifted about six feet to the north. Um, we have some dimensions showing retaining that 20 foot minimum requirement. Um, there were some changes and comments from the traffic engineer and the fire chief. The uh, radii for this access has this access so that um, delivery vehicles, fire truck, uh, specifically the West Windsor uh, aerial ladder truck, and uh, garbage trucks can circulate this turn both in and out safely. Um, does does the current plan have a sidewalk plan for what was what is a one way um, road? The one way road did not have a. You haven't looked at that until tonight, but what are your um, thoughts about that? Sure. Um, so uh, geometrically, uh, from from a layout perspective. Um, it would be a little bit tight to squeeze one in there. We could probably make it work, but the, the concern that I have is more so related to grading, and I'm going to sheet 10 here of the uh, amended site plans. So here's our grading sheet. Uh, the problem that I'm seeing is the difference in, in and then the grade that is proposed 
in the adjacent development in uh, in East Windsor. As you can see, the contours coming down what is what is now known known as Leanne Way. <clears throat> I think there would need to be some significant grading revisions and possible coordination with uh, East Windsor to make that work. And and I, I'm not sure that we could even get it to work at that five percent ADA. So a sidewalk. Could be is is fee hundred nine is the last contour that we're showing, and that's in the uh, East Windsor development, and then in our development up here we are up or down. Sorry, at one hundred two is the last contour I see. But if I move over to the sanitary manhole in the middle of Road B, I some, um, I would say it's uh, a little bit more than a hundred feet, maybe. I kind of scared for you. So while well, you're showing, okay, I mean, I, I'm looking at existing contours on the East Windsor side, and then they also show the proposed contours, and they're at basically 109, and you're in 107. No. Okay. Yeah. no. He, said, he said 109 is at the end in, in East Windsor. That's what he said. And that's the proposed contour. You have 140, you have 140 feet, at least yeah. from from this area to the intersection of road B. It's not 100 feet, it's almost at least 130, 140 feet. Yeah. Okay, I, I accept that. I sit here and try to design it for you, and you're not gonna sit here and tell us you can't design it. So I really think it's important. Is that right? Um, looking at it, uh, again, the first time I've, I've really looked at this, but I have concerns about it meeting ADA requirements. Um, and also I have concerns about the, uh, this is not, we're not designing or really involved in the design. Oh, so correct. Then maybe you have to adjust the grade on the south side. If, if, if you have more than 120, 30 points. I, I would have to look at the exact, uh, I'm really just roughing this in here, but that's just what, what I'm Take seeing. A condition on this one. Uh, Mr. Cullen, what, it, the engineering that you would do and the regrading that you would do, you would do require cooperation from uh, the Windsor Point to convert a one-way connector road that the board did not at that time when it was a process. Um, so we would ask that the board, while it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a noteworthy recommendation, we understand why you're asking, it would require us to try, try to make it work so that um, it can be handicap accessible, ADA accessible. We don't know what the grading is going to turn out to be, and we would be having to, it would be contingent on cooperation next door. We can't guarantee that. So for all three of those reasons, um, we would ask that not be okay. as a condition of this amended final approval required to install sidewalk. Okay. The the county wanted wants sidewalks, right? Yeah. Um, curb and sidewalk on tire. Oh, that's on old trend road, not the cross street. Yeah. There's two, there's a, there's a number of variables that have been identified tonight that do not ensure that we can make it happen. Are, aren't you in working with the East Wind the development on the two way access cross road? You know, no, 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 uh, Mr. Collin, uh, Am I correct that you were able to engineer it to tie into their existing condition as or not existing condition, but the conditions they should? We want sidewalks, right? Well, old Trenton Road, so people can walk. To no, this is or, the crossroads. Oh, the crossroads. Old Trenton Road, they're gonna, there's going to be sidewalks going to Old Trenton Road. Um, Yes, we're just, I, I the, see the suggestion the, is just more cross, of connector, uh, connector, but again, um, it wasn't, it wasn't required uh, originally. Um, we understand why you're asking me to, uh, about right. it again and uh, now, but again, there's too many variables that make it very uncertain whether we could accomplish it. Are they going to, uh, is the East Windsor Development Plan show sidewalks? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Does the East Windsor Plan show sidewalks on their side? Uh at the interior of their development, yes. But no, I'm talking about the, this new connector, two-way connector road. No, they do not. So if we put the condition to put sidewalks on our side, it's going to sidewalk to nowhere. Well, not really, because I think I think 
the majority of the traffic is within our, our area. Okay. And I think that's the safety issue. You know, they go off onto the grass of looking at it like there's going to be some immense cost to the poor developer. And I don't think that's no. the, the case. Here's the issue. I, I agree with you. But the issue I see is that without cooperation on the other side, how do you make it ADA compliant if there's going to be grass on the other side? If it goes to a stop, it goes to, it to grass. So, yeah, we can make it a condition. On, on this development at Edinburgh Road, flanking both sides of the entry road at Edinburgh Road, there is a sidewalk along Edinburgh Road, correct, on both sides of the entry road, correct? Correct. Okay, so here's the, here's the question. As, on the, as part of the East Windsor development, is there sidewalk along Edinburgh Road to their entry road? Uh, I'm, I'm not know, sure. Do we know any, do we know that? I mean, I thought you guys knew that plan well. I, I don't have that information. I don't see it on, the, on this plan. Does uh, Edinburgh Road to this intersection? I believe so. Joe, I, I can't be sure. Mm -hmm. you probably look it up if you give me a minute. No, I, I would like to look it up because Alan, that would, even though it's not, your preferred sidewalk, it would provide pedestrian accessibility from the site oh, okay. over to the traffic pit. Oh, going from here. Yeah, there. going along here and going along and yeah. the road. It's an it's an alter, it's it's not the most direct, but it's an alternative route. I, I understand. And I don't I don't see that as a difficult one. I don't think that they have this. Well she's checking. Michelle's okay. picking up. The only the other thing is this. You only have a distance of there's sidewalk right in front of this park when you rest. And you're only like 30 feet. That would be. So I, see, I see, I see, I see. So you only have a small gap. Well, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I appreciate that. That's good. That's good. You would think. That's the case. Okay, sorry. I, I have a I have a suggestion. Is it we could ask. We still are not sure about the aspect of achieving the grades nonetheless. For for the ADA compliance. Correct. I mean, is it the worst thing is if we had a sidewalk, at least it's can be walked, but it's not uh, ADA compliant or it doesn't make any sense? Well, or will the town right? approve it? Well, that's true. It has to be. Uh, yeah. Has to be. Um, Again, the approval that was granted to us in 2021 did not require the sidewalk. I was not uh, at that application, but perhaps it was because the board considered things like this or like the con connectivity at the front on the frontage and that was what's going to allow you know people mm -hmm. between projects to or communities uh, yeah. to walk that development wasn't even at, it was around it, it wasn't out. around at that time it, so it we didn't out. even know it well no it well it respectfully it was in that that's why the one-way connector was yeah we, we never really we saw didn't it. we weren't aware but I don't know that. Um, the, the applicant is doing this as an accommodation to next door and um, to be responsive to the county. We don't need it to be a two way. So, and it's not about the dollars, it's about the time and the uncertainty of being able to meet a condition. Mm. We are, you know, we're coming in with a simple request to widen this. Um, so I'm all for sidewalks. So it's not. It's not really not about that. It's about the sort of the other shops, get bagels and food and everything. We want people to be able to walk continuously and not have to be on a sidewalk on Old Trenton Road and then go into the development and you're you're right in, in the traffic with no sidewalk there. Um, the grass. The applicant was comfortable grass, with, with still, the pedestrian you know. circulation plan through in 2021. Well, with the one-way connector, so um, we, we don't really see a concern about that. We, we can't control what happens in these swings, but we can only control right. what happens on but our, our side. side. But our side, when they when so, see it. Uh, questions for Sam. Okay, we've had a lot of residential developments in West Windsor, and uh, along the major roads of 
these developments, and I'm thinking of Village Road, Princeton Heights Town Road, uh, there are berms, you know, because you've got properties backing up to the their backyards with, to provide some level of protection from the major road. Now, along the major road, though, you, you have sidewalks. And these sidewalks weave up and down the berms and curve and weave and up and down. Are all of those sidewalks along the major roads that I've described barrier-free accessible? Yes, they are. They are. They all, that's what I'm just wondering how. I'm thinking of another instance in West Windsor Township where this dynamic has happened. I don't know whether in East Windsor they require a berm like we do along Old Trenton Road, but we'll we'll find out eventually whether there's even going to be a sidewalk there. But but, but the, the five yeah. percent has governed. The it shows it in East Windsor. Fran has a plan that shows the sidewalk in East Windsor going along Old Trenton Road, and I know. And I know that the developments that we're working with uh, the county on, on 571, yeah. is requiring, I think it's like an eight-foot macadam off-road multi-purpose trail. That's any new development with along. With 5% max grade. Yeah. yeah. If that's the requirement, yeah. But it's all flat up in that area. What you find, Michelle? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your research on that. Um, yes. I don't want to keep going on this point here because That's, we can't control it, what happened. What what is occurred is a preferable alternative. If they, I mean, it would have been preferable to do it along the segment, but if you can't, this is an easier connection. Okay. And I'm sorry, I missed. This what? is a um, just a one or two more questions. Sure. sure. Um, so, uh, Mr. Collin, uh, you received a, a number of technical comments from board professionals and um, other uh, township representatives. Um, and have you been able to satisfy all of their engineering comments? Yes, we have. Okay, we can satisfy them either done already or we will be able to do it. That's correct. Okay. Um, that's all we have. Do we have Okay. Um, so, so did we? Did we? Uh, we we know there's going to be a sidewalk connecting to Old Train Road, right? Yes. Sidewalk along Old Train Road will extend. Um, be acceptable from my perspective. I'm sorry, say again. It will be acceptable from my perspective to go as far as the property line. No, and, no. To basically forget it. Forget it and, and do just that. Okay. Use that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody else okay with that? She's Okay. Um any other questions for the applicants witnesses? No. Nope. Okay, let's hear from our people. Good. Good evening, everybody. Still sworn in, David Novak. I had a memo dated October 18th, 2023. I will be speaking a lot next week, so I'm gonna be brief right now. Uh, this is a conforming application. There is no variant was to the satisfaction of the township uh, landscape architect. However, Mr. Del Bomilski submitted a memo dated October 18th, 2023, finding that the relocated landscaping is a okay. So unless anybody has any questions regarding the development history of this site, number of units, master planning and zoning considerations, I know that's ridiculous. About 12 years later, I'm a fully on board with this. Every and Basically, in that memorandum, we were concurring with the traffic engineer consultants, a recommended final plat, and any subsequent easements that were part of that for this roadway. Um, I did also receive a copy of the Aurora memorandum of October 30th, 2023, indicating that revised turning templates have been submitted by the applicant to Aurora and were some concerns about conflicts of the turning movements. And of course, I have nothing further. Okay, thank you, Fazi. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. So far, uh, the applicant has re revised all three turning to satisfy, and we do not have any comments uh, on the turning templates. Uh, but however, 
As I mentioned before, as, uh, as a traffic consultant, I think the Mercer County letter, October 4, 2021, there are four conditions outlined in that letter from the Mercer County, which should be a part of the approval if the board decides to proceed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And, yeah, and um, we, already just, uh, we already discussed the four conditions that Mercer um, put into their memo in, from 2021, and you're okay with those four as approval for? Yes, because okay. they uh, stand with the preliminary approval as well okay. as the final. We're here just amending the final. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay, a couple of things. David's already read into the record uh, Dan Double Milsky's uh, report, so everything's okay with landscaping. Regarding um, uh, Chief Lynch's memo dated October 30, 2023, he basically gives his approval um, with a couple comments. Um, Access is included, to, uh, including in the plan addresses the fire apparatus. Um, uh, he also mentions uh, no parking fire lanes should be created along all the curb, and you're okay with that. I'm sorry, can you just repeat that last part? Uh, due to limited access, no parking fire lane shall be created by the applicant along all curb areas to restrict curbside parking from the entire site. That's okay. Um, it, this has been agreed to by the applicant. Yeah, that's his. Yes. That's that's what he's saying. Does that change anything? Yes, yeah, so I guess I didn't. I don't recall the fire lane part, but yes, I. Um, I had um, a uh, provision uh, or a condition that there be no parking project okay. uh, other than designated parking spaces that were shown on the approved plans. Now, quasi question for you, uh, no parking fire lanes. That can just be a, a sign that says no parking. It's a fire exactly. lane, right? It doesn't have to be marked on the floor. No, even though. But at the same time, if I understand correctly, the plans show there is a four feet bike lane, which okay. runs along A and B both. Okay. So that probably will be a fire lane. Okay, so that would be the fire yeah, lane. Yeah, it's a de facto okay. fire lane. So so you're okay, no parking along the curbside. And I think Linda that brought you brought a point oh, up okay. regarding guest parking. Well guest parking, any parking, does this does this comment change anything? No, the guest parking what they propose is ninety seven, which complies with the township code. So as 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 for the code twenty seven two hundred twenty seven B two two hundred ninety seven is required, then they're proposing ninety seven. Okay. And yeah, and those are all those are spread all over the site inside. So, so curbside parking wasn't going to happen no. anyway, so this doesn't change anything. Yeah, all correct. the all the parking spaces that were previously approved, I believe they were all delineated spaces, so there's no on street parking anywhere. It was all in delineated or. Stripe parking spaces. Yeah, exactly. Stripe parking places. Okay. And just to continue with Chief Lynch's report, uh, fire hydrant locations are adequate. Um, turn ratios are good. And he concludes, based upon the above comments, I recommend approval. So that's Chief Lynch's report. Um, anybody else have any questions for our... Okay, I'll open it up to the public to step up to the microphone. State your name and address for the record on this application, anybody? Okay. Um, you have a comment, sir? You want to say something? Please step up, state your name and address to speak after we're done with this application because it wouldn't be fair to the applicant to not there okay but i'll make sure you have time thank you please step up my name is Jimmy Murphy and i live at 26 Bridgeport Court and uh, hold on a second West Windsor Price Price Price. Price. if you could raise your right hand you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth. Yes, sir. So sworn or affirmed. Thank you. Could I have your address again, please? I didn't hear. 26. 26. Birchwood. Birchwood. Can you speak a little louder? Yep, sorry about that. Uh, 26 Birchwood Court. 
perfect accommodations for bicycles and pedestrians. And I know that EA issue is tricky because I see people all the time on Edinburgh Road, South Road with their children, and the bikes tip over there. So whether that meets ADA or not, I know it's late. Mr. Levera? Yes. Mr. Schichtel? Yes. Mr. Bag? Yes. Ms. Ms. Fari? Yes. Ms. Applegate? Yes. Councilwoman Jeevers? Yes. Vice Chair Chairman Hoberman? Yes. Chairman Clark? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Anybody? Um, any issues? Any concerns? Anybody? All your, all your concerns were answered? Satisfaction? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, you want to make sure. <laughs> okay. Not yet. No, not the, yet. no you cannot. Not, not yet. That's the road change. This application, the, cha the change in... The change in the two-way road. You have an issue with that? No. Okay. Okay. Do you have a? Do you have any concerns regarding the application that we talked about tonight? No. Okay, some other things, but it does it pertain to this application, this I, development? Yes, sir. I think so. Yeah. Okay, step up to the microphone, please. I enter a motion to open the public hearing back. So, so moved. Okay, all in favor Second. say aye. 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 Okay, aye. you're up. Yeah. Say your name and address, please. Okay, my name is June. And you, please the last name. Um, I'm from 386 Princeton High School. If you could raise your right hand, do you swear or affirm the testimony about to give would be the truth? Yes, sir. So sworn or affirm. And again, could you state your name and spell your last name? Uh, uh, last name you, spell it by you. First name is June. How do you spell the last name? Uh, the property is. Uh, it's uh, in the uh, and uh, they go, uh, it's adjacent to conquest and and uh, where I see it, it's like uh, uh, I think that there could be some possibility of you know security, you know. Um, I don't think there is a this department has a gated uh control. Okay. Gated control the property. Yeah. Well, uh, on the left, left and top, on the most west end, the area is a woody area. So, you know, it's under the shade, you know, a lot of trees, you know, very nice. But uh, I think it's like a, uh, I'm concerned. Well, nefarious. Do something nefarious. Looks like an activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, I'm sure like, uh, uh, about that, yeah. And, uh, you know, anybody can walk into the area, you know, stay there, nobody can see, you know, from outside. So, I think like, there's a, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my question. And, well, then, there was something. Uh, I just want to, like, follow a lesson in the house, uh, uh is there, no, is there an open space? If you remember, one of the conditions that we imposed upon American properties, the prior developer, was that they were to dedicate that property to the township. It would be part of the Zeitz um, Preserve, which is out on Southfield Road. There's currently a farm road that goes through there. I've walked that. There's a trail back there. It'll basically be a trail that'll connect this development with the um uh, the playgrounds and the soccer fields over on Southfield Road. And there's no development that can happen on that, that wooded area? No, it's okay. deed restricted. It's just for open space and the cave I've dedicated it to the township. Okay, so it's not going to get developed. It's going to stay wooded. Well, that's not my question. Do you 
Behind your property, correct. Correct, yes. And that property is not owned by this developer anymore. It's owned by the township. Correct. More so than you're seeing now, correct. If you know where your property boundary is there, you may want to install no trespassing signs, private property, so it lets folks know that the public property ends at a certain spot and then it's private property after that. There are no plans that I'm aware of that the town's going to put a fence in along that property line. And that wouldn't be this board's jurisdiction. It would be the township council if they want to have funds appropriated to put a fence in. That would be something that would be done through a capital budget. Thank you. Yes. I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing again. So moved. Uh, moved by Alan, second by Annis. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, okay, debate. Any concern? I will always be concerned about that left hand turn onto uh, uh, Route 571. Prince it's up to Heights the County. county to decide them. Yeah, it's up to the county. Yeah, they're just they're not easy on feeling it. feeling about doing that. Right. But. Okay. Um, anybody want to give like a summary? I mean, yeah. Um, this is an application for amended. Um, I guess it would be amended preliminary and final um, major site plan approval. And would, would there be a major uh, amended subdivision approval also? And subdivision approval. And I suggest the following conditions, which come out of the discussions, were to the uh, county October 4, 2021 letter, and the applicant will comply with all of them. The same, if you can get me a copy of that, that would be great. Um, then the proposed easement and roadway, as per uh, Francis's comment number two, will have to be modified to reflect responses to the technical uh, review uh, by Aurora. Um, and that would be uh, subject to uh, the review by the, uh, the engineer, uh, our engineer. Um, across access, Easement should be su subject to the review by Francis and me. Um, then we have, um, I think, and the only other thing is um, two conditions from uh, Chief Lynch's uh, memo, um, no, no parking, fire lanes, 
should be created by the applicant along all curb areas. Um, and the position of fire department connection that supports the fire sprinkler system shall be at the front of the building. Um, and that's it. Are you, I, I, in Chief Lynch's memo, the position, yeah. you're okay with that? I just want to review that one. It's under miscellaneous first bullet. Oh, well, there's multiple buildings. How many buildings are there, Sam? I mean, there's multiple buildings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We need clarification on that then. Yeah, it's not part of this application. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's not part right. of it. Okay. There's no fire connection there. No, this is no oh, red. Right. Anything else, Jerry? No, that's it. Okay. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve um, this application, PB 19-08 as amended and with the conditions enumerated by our planning board attorney. I'll make that motion. Second. second. Motion by Alan, second by Annis. Please call the roll. Mr. Libero? Yes. Mr. Schichtel? Yes. Mr. Begg? Yes. Ms. Bari? Yes. Ms. Applegate? Yes. Councilwoman Jeevers? Yes. Vice Chairman Huberman? Yes. Chairman Carr? Yes. Motion uh, application approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Members, we have a meeting next week. I left the packet in the agenda for you. You also got electronic copies of all that information about a month ago. So this is just a hard copy for you. Okay, thank you. Meeting adjourned. Not even